How you doing everyone? Welcome back to the show. Today I'm getting back into this little tenor guitar. It's a ukulele size um, scale fingerboard and uh, it's got some crack repairs that need to be done. When I come back, I'm going to tell you what my plan is for what to do about this fingerboard. Okay, I'll let you know what I decided in two seconds. <laughs> To tell you what I decided, I'm getting rid of this fingerboard. It's got a crazy radius on it. I went through all my radius gauges and the tightest one I have is a nine and a half radius and it uh, it's swimming on there. So this is, I don't know, it's probably got like a five inch radius or something on it, maybe four or five inch radius, which is not... You know, I mean, it'll, it might even actually be difficult to play like that. Uh, so what I did was I ordered a fingerboard from Stu Mac for a ukulele. And it's pretty close to what I have here. What I might need to do, if I line up 12th fret with the body, the body joint. See, so this would be the 12th fret right here. Where it ends up is a little bit past where the fingerboard is now. It's kind of to the where the back of the nut is. Um, I'm not going to be too worried about that. I can mount the nut behind it. There's not a lot of break angle to this neck. As you can see, this is, I don't know, five or eight degrees, maybe just a guess. I mean, you can see the angle here. Uh, I think it'll still work. Okay. There's not a lot of break angle over the bridge either, but, uh, to get this playable and to get this back up and running, um, Today I'm going to do some work. I'm going to take off this fingerboard. I'm going to do some crack repair and there's some braces loose on the inside. And then I want to do a support underneath the bridge. So first things first, I'm going to take off this fingerboard first. So here's my setup. First thing I'm going to do is I've got a little heat lamp. Just want to warm up the area. I have an iron that's heating up as well. So I got some blades, so let's get started. I'm just letting this uh, fingerboard heat up for five minutes or so. I have the top protected with some cardboard. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some heat. I'm gonna start heating up one of these blades. We'll see how loose it is when I get started here. There's a corner over here that seemed like a good starting point. Just so I don't do any more damage to this top. I'll just try and protect it a little bit. I should cut this out to be the shape of the fingerboard. That would be a good idea. Get some direct heat from the iron on here. Take the plastic off. Switch it out for cardboard. I hope they didn't use epoxy on this. Another thing I'm going to try doing is I'm try using a little water. Seem to help a little bit. I'm getting some movement here. One thing I didn't do for this edge here, weird buildup of finish or something on that right in this corner. Man, is that tight. I hope it doesn't fight me the whole way down this fingerboard like this. I figured this thing is uh, 
90 years old and the glue probably a hide glue or something very brittle yeah i thought it would just pop right off a little bit of heat some persuasion off she comes but this one is fighting me it's hitting something right here it's there i don't know if it's just the binding here or what but it won't let me go past that Heat, more heat. I can see this top has definitely got a, a seam crack here. I'm tempted to take out this fret, cut it, maybe here, cut it, take it off and then take off that piece. Cause I don't care, I'm not trying to save this fingerboard, right? I'm just trying to get it off of here. So I think I will do that. Let me get my I want to cut into the neck if I can avoid it. Let me just put some more heat on this and see if I can get that just, just the extension off. If I have to take it off in pieces, that might be what I have to do. It looks like I'm making progress. It's real tight as a mofo, though. It's, man. I did a good job gluing this thing together, I'll tell you. They only put the frets in the same style as this. I wouldn't have to mess with this. Oh, one more time with the heat. One more. Give it one more shot here. We got another quarter, half inch to go. So something move there. This is popping up. That's a good sign. And look at how strong this glue is. Hmm. Took a nice big piece off the top. It's all right here. But look at that glue. Well, it does have a dovetail, I see that. Well, okay, now I just gotta continue. some water down in here see if I can work that in there I'll show you how far I've gotten this is about the extent of it so far 10 minutes in it's about as far as I've gotten I heard alcohol might help maybe I can get some alcohol down in there the glue is very gummy very gummy and there seems to be a lot of it. Here we go, try something else. 
put a little alcohol down in there. I'm getting something. It's just very slow going. Wow. <sighs> I'm praying that at some point it just gives way and the whole thing just comes off nice and easy. <laughs> Some more heat. This is about the toughest one I've encountered so far. I knew this day would come. Let's see how far I am. I'm right about there. I went about almost two frets. Ugh. The alcohol does help. By the way, look at this fingerboard extension here. I don't know if you can see how much actually got stuck. If it was high glue, definitely would have let go by now. Tight bond or something like that. The heat, alcohol, barely wants a lift. Man. It's very slow. Luckily, this is a short, short scale fingerboard. Why did I want to take this fingerboard off again? What was my great idea? Oh, that's right. The frets were a little crooked. It looked like somebody played it for a hundred years. They were happy. Oh my God. Seems like I am making progress. Some more alcohol down in there. Look, it's taking some of the finish off right there. This is probably the hardest part of this job though, hopefully. Switching back, back, ha, ah, that's hot. Back over to the water. The water helps too, it really does. Waiting for that big aha moment here. Okay, a little more heat. Oh my God, I'm almost there. I bet whoever put this fingerboard on is laughing right now saying, I can't believe you're even trying to take that fingerboard off. Okay. <laughs> One more time with the heat. Have I said that before? So close. Gonna fight every quarter of an inch. Look at that, look at how close I am. The whole thing is lifted all the way to the end and it's still holding on for dear life. I wanna be careful because this does, they put a uh, overlay on the finger, or on the headstock. So it's got a thin veneer right up to uh, the fingerboard, so. I gotta be careful right at the end. Ah, you know, they probably use the same glue for that, so I'm not gonna do much damage to it. If you made it this far in the video, you better be subscribing. Cause I'm working, I'm working. Water and heat, once again. Oh my God. I just heard a wonderful sound.
There it is. I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Oh, wait a minute. That's right, it's three pieces of wood. I saw a stripe down the middle. As if maybe there was a truss rod with a cover. Doubt it, but okay, so there you go. Finally, take a look at all this nonsense. First off, look at how thick, look at how thick that glue is. How did you even get that much glue between two pieces of wood without getting squeeze out? I mean, it's thick. Look at how thick that glue is. Crazy. Okay. Let me try and work on cleaning all this crap up. And that fingerboard, I've had it with you. I don't want to see you again. Let's have a look inside this guitar. I've got a mirror sitting there. Through the top, you can see all the cracking. Okay, now I think this setup here will work. So I got the clamp and I got a call on top. This is just a dry run. I have no glue yet. And down inside here, what I do is I put a little block to support the clamp because it's so heavy it just wants to pull down and so this keeps it up where it needs to be and I have a call on the inside that's on the brace. So let me work some glue down into that crack and then I'll put it in this clamping situation here and that crack will be stable. Let it dry and then I'll get to this one here. I'm going to go ahead and work some fish glue down into here. I'm going to use fish glue because I have a lot of a long open time. And it has the same properties basically as hide glue. Um, so if there's any glue remaining between the joint and the brace, between the top and the brace, it should adhere to it pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead. I have two little white lines here. That's where the brace is. So I know where to put some pressure and try to work the glue down. Let me just get a little water on this first. It also will expand the wood slightly, maybe close up that joint a little bit, because it is kind of wide. I'm looking on the inside to see if I see water. And I do, so that's good. So let me get some get some glue down in there. And force it down in there. Again, I'm looking at the inside to see if I see any glue coming through. I do see it right at the brace. Let me get a little more right on the brace. Try and work as much, focus it right down in that area. And you can 
can see the glue getting between the brace. Just gonna try to work it. Hopefully it'll walk itself all the way as far as it can go. Also try tipping it. Tip it forward, tip it backwards. Squeeze a little more right in there. Try and inject it in there. Okay, that's that's really getting in there pretty well. see that glue squeezing out through the whole crack that's good it's all good okay let me get my clamping rig going Put the brace in here where's my clamp here it is. okay so here's my clamp you can see I got a call that's shaped got a little channel in it piece of wax paper so that sits on the inside underneath the brace and then I'm going to put this on the top here to apply some pressure. Now here's the tricky part is finding that brace. Let's kind of do it by feel. You can feel it hit and then it drops up in there. I think that's it. Double check with the mirror. It is tricky because it's it can barely barely fit the mirror in there. Yeah, it's on, and that looks tight. The top looks tight up against that breeze. It's going to put a little bit of pressure on it. Can it be any tighter? Okay. So I'll let this dry, and then I'll come back and I'll work on this one. So while that's drying, I have this the fingerboard extension that I took off. It's got some, it's got a bit of the top and a little piece of the mahogany that was for the, I think it's part of the neck. I'm gonna try to get this off in one piece. Maybe take this off separately so I can reattach it. Let's see if I can clean this up a little bit. But I don't know what kind of glue this is, if this is going to come off very easily or, or not. I have no idea. Oh, look at that. Well, this piece. Well, that's most of it. So this goes on top of the guitar. Melting my neoprene on my vise. OK, 
Okay, here's the piece. Here, I'm just going to go ahead and glue this. I don't need a lot of pressure here. So I'm just going to put one clamp. It's going to go from the back of the guitar right under this heel block. Okay, it has been drying for a couple hours. This crack here looks pretty good. Seems to be sealed up. nice and flat you can't feel anything and then this is all filled in as well okay let me go ahead and work on this crack here this one's not going to take a whole lot just get some glue in there clamp it and then I do want to get some cleats on both of these cracks and I think there's a crack here. Okay, I'm gonna just work some glue down into this joint now. Again, let me get some water started. I'm gonna check to see if I see any glue coming through. Yep, I see some glue. Right about here. Now what I'm going to do, I have this call that I'm going to tape up inside. On the underside of this. my clamps in place. Yeah, Jesus. And I have one for the top. Another one. This one here so that's it for this video I still want to get some cleats on those cracks add the interior bracing and then start working on the fingerboard but that's going to be in the next video so stick around